Welcome back to We Race Diecast. We got a 2v2 matchup for you today. Two castings with two cars each will go head to head on Clutch Mountain and battle through six races. Each race, the starting lineup will be a different configuration and the cars will earn points as a team to determine which casting is hot and which is not. First up is the 2020 Toyota Supra, which is a new Hot Wheels mainline casting feature in the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics series. The car runs in many real world races, including endurance racing, drift competitions, and in NASCAR's Xfinity series. It will be going up against the 1998 Subaru Impreza WRX STI 22B version, which was a limited production version of the Impreza and remains one of the most sought after Subaru models as a world rally icon. Don't forget the Diecast International Race Series is happening over at Live Young Diecast with Round 6 Action. If you haven't checked out Round 5 Action here at Clutch Mountain, go back and check those out. Some of the best races we have seen here on Clutch Mountain. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Here we go with race 1 of 6. Remember the cars will start in 3 different configurations. Cars will switch starting positions each race to keep it fair. It's a team win though, so points will accumulate and working together can benefit the outcome. Speaking of teamwork, check out the Subaru's block as they both get around the back Supra. Subaru gets on the wall and the Supra able to get around them. Team Toyota will pick up first and third while Team Subaru finishes second and fourth. Not a bad run by Toyota. If you take a look at the points, no matter what the combination of finishing positions, the team that wins the race will be awarded more points than the other team. As it stands, Toyota will take the initial lead with 7, Subaru with 4. Race 2. Team Subaru will get their chance on the inside, Toyota Supra's on the outside. Subarus get out front first. Little friendly competition as they go into turn two. The Subaru is actually battling up front. Toyota makes a move in turn six. And the Subaru is able to fend them off just barely and will pick up first and second. Team Toyota in third and fourth. A little friendly competition on the track is not bad, but risky move by Team Subaru as they could have potentially lost some points there. In any case, Subaru will take the lead with 12, Toyota with 10. Four more to go, we got a close one. Race 3, here we go with the second starting lineup configuration, Toyota will get the front, Subaru's in the back. Both Supra's able to get out front, one of the Subaru's able to get inside and sneak by into second. The Subaru gets loose at a turn 6, able to block the Supra, but the back Subaru gets punted off the track. Doesn't look like he crossed the finish. Let's take another look. The front Subaru spins out of control and collides with the other cars, putting the back Subaru on the wall. The Supra just finishes the job and kicks the Supra off the track. Not sure if that was intentional, but well played Toyota. Well played. Team Toyota able to take back the lead with 17 points, Subaru with 15, 3 more to go. Race 4, Subaru's chance to start up front. Not able to follow suit with the Supras as the outside Subaru falls back. 
Subaru spins out of turn five and Toyota closes the gap. Can he get around? He can't do it. Nose to nose for the finish. Subaru picks up first and third. Toyota with second and fourth. And the Subarus will again take the lead with 22, Team Toyota with 21. It has been back and forth every race so far, two more to go, who is going to take it? Race five. With two more to go, we swap into our final starting configuration. Side by side, let's go. The Supra squeaks by with the Subaru Impreza right on his tail. A little loose and tries to make a pass on the outside, but the Super shakes him off. And they will single file it to the line. It looks like the second Supra got around the back Subaru. A little off camera action and that is why we need you to subscribe. Help us grow this channel so we can get more cameras on this mountain. I'm not gonna lie, we actually have a few extra cameras. But these track crews, man, they be lazy sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, the trend continues as Team Toyota takes back the lead once again. With one to go, this is going to be a tight one. Subaru is going to need a big finish if they want a chance to win this thing. Race 6. It all comes down to this. Can Subaru get it done or will the new 2020 Supras reign supreme? Subaru gets out front. Holding the lead just needs to get through the final turn, but the Supra makes the pass in the final straight and will win it. Just a little loose and the Supra able to make the move. Team Toyota will win it with 35 points. Team Subaru will finish with 30. Looking at the points, even if Team Subaru would have picked up that win, they still would have fell short. They would have needed the back Subaru to finish in third. But great performances by both teams and castings. What do you guys think? Did Toyota earn that victory or did they just get lucky? Comment below, let us know what you think, and stick around as we take a peek at what is coming next week. If you want to check out another 2v2 matchup on Clutch Mountain, make sure you click the video link at the end of the video. We promise you won't be disappointed. Thanks again for sticking around. We'll see you next time on the trek. I can't even say that with a straight face. I feel like I'm copying somebody. I don't know. I really don't know what to say at the end, but uh, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Have a good one.